Hey, what up everyone? Mackenzie here. Welcome to week five of my 12 and 12 challenge. This week I built a movie rating and review application. Um, I played around with a few new features in this week's app, one being uh, ratings. A user is able to go in and add a one to five star rating for each individual movie. As well, I added the ability to search through all the various movies. So instead of having to browse through um, a very long list, they can just go and search exactly what they want to find. Um, so let's dive in and start coding. Alrighty guys, let's uh, take a look at what we're going to be building. So we are building a movie rating and review application. Uh, it doesn't look too pretty, but uh, the functionality is there. So uh, we have bunch of different movies and um, each movie has multiple reviews um, which is rated on a one to five star scale and then another cool feature is we have the ability to search so if I say uh, Captain America it will show up as uh, well if there was a uh, multiple Captain America movies it would show both of them but since we only have one it shows that another cool Thing about this search gem that we are using is it uses um, or it is able to distinguish between um, the correct spelling and misspelled or pluralization and all that so if I just say um, America it will still show up and obviously we have the ability to sign up sign in um, and only signed in users have the ability to write a review all right, so uh, let's jump in and uh, start coding away. So I'm going to uh, grab the console or the terminal. I have a uh, server running, so I'm just gonna close out of that by doing Command C or Control C. Then I'm going to CD back home. All right, from here I'm gonna CD into my 12 and 12 directory. All right, and now that I'm in the 12 and 12 challenge directory, I am going to uh, create our new Rails application by running Rails new, and I'm going to call this movie review. And now that that is finished, let's uh, CD into that movie review application. And then first thing, I'm going to initialize this in Git. So Git init, uh, you can do a or a quick git status to see everything that's untracked. Um, do git add period um, to add all those untracked files and then git git commit with the message um, initial commit. All right. So in the background here, I'm going to uh, cd into my 12 and 12. Actually, you know, what? I'll just do it here. I'm going to run the Rails server. Right, then let's open um, localhost and make sure welcome on board we are writing Ruby on Rails looks like we're good to go so let's go back to our terminal let's cd into uh, 12 and 12 directory then the movie review in another tab for us to work I'm just gonna quickly get the ability to create movies um, and add users and, and images and then we're going to focus most of the time on the reviews and the ability to search so uh we're going to be using a scaffold to generate the movies so uh, let's do that real quick so we're going to do rails generate uh movies or movie and then let's see we want each movie to have a title, which is going to be a string, then the description, which is going to be a um, going to be text, and then let's see. We also want about the movie length, which is going to be it. Mm, we'll make that a string, and then maybe the director, which will be a string, uh, rated. We'll do rating and that will be a string as well um, I think that's good for now yeah let's go with that oh whoops 
not Rails G movie. We need to do Rails generate scaffold movie. So Rails generate scaffold movie. There we go. All right, so that created all the files for us. So I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text and then go back to localhost and let's go to slash movies slash, um, well, yeah, slash movies. Pending migration error. Looks like we forgot to run rake db colon migrate. Right, refresh. There we go. Now we have the ability to add new movies. Let's create a title. Let's say uh, Iron Man. Movie length. Mm, don't really know. Uh, let's say an hour 30. Director was some person. Rated, I think it was rated PG 13. Let's create the movie. Go back. We have the ability to create another one. Say Maze Runner, because that movie looks kind of cool. Movie length, I have no idea. Director, person, rated. I think this is PG 13 as well. All right. So we have the ability to see a movie, edit a movie. Um, and then delete a movie as well. So next we want to add the ability or add users. So for that, we're going to go to rubygems.org. We're going to search for device and we're going to use the device gem for our users. So let's grab the latest, uh, the latest device gem, which is 3.4.0. Let's copy that. Then go back to Sublime, and we're going to open up our gem file. So let's quickly, I'm just going to remove these comments. All right, and I'm just going to paste that in at the bottom. Save that. Go back to our terminal. Let's do bundle install. And let's restart our server while we're at it. Right, so if we go to the device documentation, we can see how to get started. So getting started, uh, we installed the device gem. Next, we need to um, install device by running Rails generate device install. So let's do that. Rails g device colon install. All right, and that creates the uh, initializers and locales for us. Next, we need to uh, do some manual setup for device. So let's uh, go through each of these steps. Step one, ensure you have defined a default URL in your environments file. All right, so let's copy this. Uh, go back to Sublime Text. Um, we're going to go under config environments development.rb. Let's just go to the bottom, add a comment uh, needed for device, and then paste that in. All right, so the next thing, uh, well, it says in production, host should be set to the actual host of your application. So if you do that, add, um, define that in the production.rb. Uh, next, ensure you have a root to uh, define. So, we are going to go under config uh, routes.rb. What we want to do is we want the movies to be the root of our application. So we're going to do root and then um, movies index. So now we can test that out. If we go to slash localhost, there we go. It shows uh, all of our movies that we have. All right, now we need to ensure we have flash messages in our app views layouts application.html.erp. So let's take care of that. Um, well, real quick, I'm going to remove all these comments in our routes file.
save that. Let's close, close, close. All right, so app views layouts application.html.erb. So it gives you, the device gem gives you some um, alerts you can just copy and paste, but I'm going to add some specific to uh, Bootstrap. So I'm going to do flash.each do. We're going to have a name of the message and the message. And then inside here, we're going to print out a content tag, which is going to be a div with the message and a class of alert and alert-info. Then let's close that out and end. And let's just tab in the yield too. All right, now back in our terminal. Um, the last step, well, step four, it says if we're deploying to Heroku with three point, Rails 3.2, which we are not, uh, so we're gonna skip that. Step five is um, if we want to copy the device views for customization, which we do, um, we need to run Rails G device colon views. And that uh, copies over all the view files for us. All right. So the next thing we want to do now that device, well, actually device is not finished installing. We need to uh, generate a device user model. Um, so we installed device, but we still have to create a um, model for device to work. So let's do rails generate device and instead of model, we're going to do user. So rails G device, and we're going to do user. All right, then we want to do a rake DB migrate. And you can see that worked by going localhost slash user slash sign up. Oh, you know what? We need to uh, restart our server. Always restart your server after stuff like this. All right, refresh, there we go. I'm just going to quickly sign up. Uh, hey, at McKinseyChild.me, password, I'm just gonna use password. Alrighty. All right, so our users are now all set up, but when we create a new, um, when we create a new movie, it's not a, assigned to a user. So to do that, we need to add a migration. So to do that, let's run Rails generate migration. And we're going to do add uh, user ID to movies. And then we're going to do user ID is going to be an integer. And let's, um, well, if you want, you can view that under db migrate, and it should be the very last migration. So you can see it's adding column um, to the movies table, user ID, which is an integer. All right, so let's uh, migrate our database. All right, so if we go into our Rails console, let's grab out the very first movie by doing at movie equals movie dot first. You can see the end is user ID is nil. So we need to make sure when we create a new movie, it's assigned to the current user. So we can do that by going to Sublime Text. Let's close out of these. Let's open up our controller and our movies controller. Let me uh, clean this file up a bit from the uh, comments that were added from uh, the scaffold. There we go. All right, so to create it from the current user, we need to uh, do a few things. First, we need to change the at movie.new um, to build it out from the current user. So we're gonna do at movie equals current underscore user dot movies dot build. 
and then we are going to copy that and replace it for the create method method as well but we're going to leave the movie params All right then we want to authenticate the users so um, let's up top add a before action and we're going to do authenticate underscore user exclamation point um, except for the index and the show so this is going to make sure, well, first off, we get this from device. Uh, this will make sure that if a user who is not signed in uh, tries to click link and add a new movie, they are uh, routed to the sign up page. All right, so let's try to create a new movie. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I may have forgotten something. Let's go into our models and add an association between movie and uh, user. So let's open up both these files. So we're going to add a movie belongs to underscore to user. And then a user has underscore many movies. Let's refresh that. Yeah, that was the issue. Um, so we forgot to add the association between movies and users, but now that that's added in, uh, we are able to now build out from the current user. All right, so let's try adding a new movie. I'm just gonna say test movie, add a quick description. Movie length, um, say an hour, 15, director, some person, rated R. Let's create the movie. All right, the movie was successfully created. Now, if we go back to our console, let's uh, do at movie equals movie dot last. And let's just grab the last movie we just created so you can see uh, titles, test movie, uh, director, some person. And if you go to the very end, user ID is one. So everything is working correctly now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly assign the user um, that we just created to the first two movies. And to do that, I'm going to do at movies dot each do uh, movie and then we're going to do movie dot uh, user underscore ID equals one and then movie dot save and undefined method dot each hmm, maybe I couldn't have done that let's try at movie equals Let's do at user equals user dot first. All right, so that grabs the user we just created. Now I'm going to do at movie equals movie dot find. Let's see, I think it's movie one and two. Yeah, if you see the URL, it's dash one, and then the second one is dash two. So we'll do find one. All right, now we'll do at movie equal or at movie dot user equals at user still getting the hang of all this uh, rails console stuff so um, let me try this again at movie equals or at movie dot user ID equals one at movie dot save at movie there we go so doing at movie dot user dot user underscore ID equals one and then um, saving that you can see now at the very end user ID is one so let's try that for the first again at movie equals movie let's just do that first yeah the user ID is still nil so what we did before did not work correctly so let's just do what we did for the other one. So I'm going to do at movie dot user underscore ID equals one. Then I'll do at movie dot save. 
Now if I do app movie, there you go. Now the first movie has a user ID of one. Very cool. Everything's working. We're able to add a new movie. We have users. Um, we're able to edit, delete, destroy, or edit and destroy um, movies. So let's next add the ability to upload an image for each movie. So what we want to do is go to rubygems.org and we will search for the paperclip gem. And the paperclip is used for easy upload management to active record, as you can see in the description. So let's uh, copy the latest and go back to Sublime and open up our gem file. And at the bottom, I'm just going to paste paperclip in. Then let's close out of the console by doing control D. Actually, let's uh, do a quick get status. So we've uh, done quite a bit since then. So uh, let's do a git add dot. All right, so now we'll do git commit with the message add movie scaffold and users. All right. Okay, so next let's um, do a bundle install and then restart our server. Okay, so if we go to the paperclip documentation, it will explain what to do. So it, it uses image magic for the um, processor. So you have to have image magic installed in order to use paperclip, which uh, I already do, but if you don't, um, just follow this link and get that installed. All right, so we already put in our paperclip gem. Uh, let's go to the quick start section. So we need to add the has attached file and validate attachment content type to our um, movie model. So I'm just going to copy this and go back to Sublime Text. And I'm going to go under um, Models Movie and then paste that in. And we're going to change Avatar, which they use in their example, to uh, Image. And then the st Styles, um, I'm going to change this from the Hash Rocket like so. Um, same with the medium. All right, and we're going to change this from 300 by 300. We're going to change it to 400 by 600. And we're going to do pound, which will uh, crop the image at 400 by 600. And we're not going to use a thumbnail in this example or uh, tutorial. So, and then the uh, default image URL in case the image is missing. Um, we You have the ability to add that, but uh, we're not going to in this tutorial either. So again, let's just quickly change this. All right, so that all looks good. Let's save that. Go back to the documentation. Next, we need to add a migration. We can do that manually, or it says, or you can use the migration generator. So Rails generate a paperclip user avatar. So instead of user avatar, we're going to do movie image. So let's do Rails generate, and then it says uh, paperclip um, user avatar. So we'll do movie image. So let's uh, open up our under db migrate, we're adding an attachment image to movies. So it's changing table movies and adding the attachment of image. All right, so that looks good. Let's quickly run rake db migrate. All right, then next we need to edit our forms and uh, display it inside of our view. So um, let's go back to our um, sublime go under views 
movies and we're going to open up the uh, form partial. So we need to change a few things. One, we need to add the HTML multi-part true. I'm going to get rid of the uh, parentheses and I'm going to add HTML multi-part true. Let's change these again. All right, and next, we need to add a file field for our upload. So I'm just going to add that under rating. So f.label, this is going to be image. f.file field is going to be image as well. Whoops. Image. There we go. Save that. So let's go back to our form, new movie. You can see we have the ability to choose an image now. All right, so I'm going to add a new movie, say um, Maze Runner. Add a quick description, movie length, uh, hour 30, director, some person, rated, I don't know, R. Let's try to choose a file. I added some movie posters to my uh, desktop. So I'm just going to grab the Maze Runner movie poster, and then let's try uh, see if this works. Create movie. All right, so it says movie was successfully created. Oh, if you notice, it's uh, there's two different um, flash messages. That's because one was generated by the scaffold within the uh, the new.html.erb, and another is it within the um, application template. So we want to keep the application template. We're going to remove the other one uh, shortly. All right, so it didn't throw up any errors for us, but it's not showing up. So let's go back to under uh, views, movies. Let's go to show.html.erb. Uh, let's remove the notice. We're going to add a image tag. So image tag, we're going to do at movie dot image dot url and we want to grab the medium image and let's uh, go back refresh hmm oh i know what's happening so it saved it didn't throw up any errors but it did not save to our database and that is because if we go back to our app controllers uh, movies controller we did not add it to the permitted um, attributes in the movie params. So what we need to do is add a colon image. So I'm going to just try to edit this, choose the file again, update movie. There we go. So now if we go back, let's um, one has a movie poster. Let's try and display the um, movie posters on the index. So let's close out of these um, and we'll go to index.html.erb um, and then for each movie let's just add uh, td and then the image tag movie.image.url medium. Whoops, we didn't do an image tag. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. Um, but these ones do not have movie posters. So let's uh, edit those and add some. Update. Now let's go back. Go back. If you could not tell, I really like uh, the Marvel movies. They're pretty awesome. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Um, well, it's functioning pretty good. It looks pretty terrible. 
So how about now, let's uh, quickly commit what we've done. Let's do a get status. Oh, one thing we need to do real quick. All right, we will do git add dot git commit with the message of add um, paperclip for image upload. One thing I want to do is you can see it added all the uh, images that we uploaded. I don't actually want to track those in Git. So let's copy this part, uh, public slash system slash movie slash images. And let's go um, sublime.git ignore. Open that up. And then I'm just going to paste this in. Ah, can't paste it. So it's slash public slash system slash uh, movie slash images. All right, so from now on, since th we added this to the git ignore, it won't um, recognize those when we uh, do a git status or anything. All right, so images are good. Let's uh, take care of some styling and structure and uh, make it a bit easier to navigate the site. So let's add the bootstrap gem. Let's go to rubygems.org and search for the bootstrap SAS gem. And we'll just grab the copy of the latest, which is 3.2.0.2. And let's open up our gem file, go to the bottom, add bootstrap SAS. Then we will run bundle install and let's restart our server. All right, so on the bootstrap documentation, there's a few things we need to do. Uh, one, we need to import the bootstrap styles inside of our application.css.scss file. So let's copy this, go back to sublime and let's open up the app assets style sheet application.css. First thing we want to do is uh, rename that to .css.scss so it can use the um, so it can use the SAS. All right, so let's paste at bootstrap sprockets at bootstrap or at import bootstrap. And then Another thing we need to require um, bootstrap sprockets within the JavaScript file. So under JavaScripts, um, application.js, we'll just add this under the jQuery stuff, save that. So now if we go back to our site and refresh, should see it take notice or, or take a effect already. You can see the fonts changed, the margins removed, all right, so let's start by adding some structure to our site. Whoops, I accidentally closed out of the Sublime. Let's open that back up. All right, so I'm going to do app views layouts application.html.erb. All right, so the first thing I want to do is add a, a header nav bar. So we are going to add a partial. So under app views uh, layouts, let's add a new file and save it as underscore header.html.erb. And then within the application.html.erb, we're gonna add, we're gonna add, whoops, render uh, layouts slash header. And that will grab whatever we put inside the header.html.erb. So I'm going to paste this in real quick and I'll explain what it's doing. So uh, this is all bootstrap and you can find this under the bootstrap documentation. Um, I believe it's git bootstrap.com. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Git bootstrap. Yeah, it's git bootstrap.com slash CSS. You can find grid system typography goes over everything. All right. So, um, we have some uh, navbar, which is all see it, or bootstrap classes. 
We have a link to movies reviews, um, which is going to be the logo and just routes to the root path. All right, so we have some conditional statements. Uh, if the user is signed in, we link to um, new movie and their account, which they can edit. And if not, they'll have a sign up or sign in link. And then on the uh, right side, we have the um, a search form. So let's uh, save that. Go back to our movie reviews app. Refresh. All right, you can see we have the logo, new movie account, and the search, which uh, does not do anything at the moment. All right, so next let's take care of the index page because it looks pretty terrible right now. So under views, movies, index.html.erb, um, we really just want, well, a few things. We want to add a, uh, a big call out if the user is not signed in to say what the site is and add a link to sign up. And if they are signed in, we just want to list, we just want to list all the movies. So let's uh, take care of the movies first. I'm just going to get rid of all this. So we're going to add a row and then we're going to create a loop at movies dot each do movie and close out of that. And then before we forget, let's just end that. All right. So within here, each movie is going to be in a, um, column md or column small dash six and column md dash three uh, div and then within that we're going to have class of thumbnail whoops and then within the thumbnail div we're going to have a link to and we're going to link to an image tag with movie.image.url medium with the class of image. And it's going to um, go to the movie path. So movie. All right. So let's save that. Go back and refresh. Oh, uh, whoops. So that's already looking pretty good, but one thing we want to do is the yield and the flash. We want to wrap a container div around it. So let's uh, indent these in. All right, so now if we refresh, there we go. And the cool thing about this is it's all uh, from Bootstrap. It's all responsive. Cool stuff. And if you click on that, it goes to the show page. All right, so next let's do the, um, the banner in case someone's not signed in. So what we want to do, if user is not signed in, which uh, the exclamation point means not. So if the user is not signed in, Let's end that. What we want to do is add a class of Jumbotron, which is a bootstrap. I'm just going to paste this in and then I'll explain. <clears throat> so I added um, your favorite movies reviewed. You reviewed. Didn't spell that correctly. Um, and then I just added some filler text for the subtitle and a link to a new registration uh, to sign up to write a review. And then it has a class of BTN, BTN primary, and BTN large. So let's save that, refresh. Obviously we don't see anything. So let's, uh, let's go to localhost in a incognito window. So we're not signed in. All right, so we see your favorite movies reviewed, um, the filler text, and then a link to sign up. One thing I do notice is the it looks a little funky, and that is because um, 
the scaffold generated some styles for us. So if you go to app asset style sheets scaffolds.scss, um, you can see it generated some styles for us. Let's just remove that file altogether. Now, if we refresh, there we go. Bootstrap looks a little bit nicer. So let's quickly add some structure to the show page. So let's go back to Sublime, close out of these, and we're gonna go to slash movies slash show dot So up top, we want to wrap the entire thing in a panel um, with the class of dot panel and panel default. And then within that, we're gonna put this in a panel body. And again, this is all just uh, bootstrap. So we're gonna put this in two rows. So the image and the movie info is gonna be on this side, and then the reviews are gonna be on this side. So we wanna do a dot row, and then we'll do a column md-4 for the movie info. So let's just copy the image tag, and then um, we're gonna create a table for for the uh, title, description, all that stuff. So we're gonna do class of um, table-responsive. Oops. And then within that, we're gonna do a table with the class of table, and then T body, and table row, and table cell. We're gonna do um, the title, and then another table cell, we're gonna do the movie. And then below the row, let's add another. Let's add another table row with the movie length. Another with the director. And then another with the movie rating. All right, so now let's indent these guys in. I'm just gonna quickly wrap all of these around um, with the TD tag. So we'll do opening TD. All right, and to do that, I was just holding down command and clicking in Sublime. It's a very nice feature. Uh, then let's clean up that. So let's get rid of this stuff and just quickly take a look and see how it looks. All right, so you can see it's within the panel and then this is uh, nicely formatted within a table. Um, I wrote some very, very minimal um, styles for this. Um, the final application doesn't look the greatest. Um, because I didn't have time to do very many, very much styling, um, focused mainly on the functionality of it this time or this week. But um, I'm just going to paste in some quick styling. So this just changed it to a uh, like a desaturated red, and then this is for the movies or the uh, the movie reviews. So let's go back, refresh. You can see background is changed to the red. All right looking all right so this is looking okay for now uh, let's do a get status get add dot get commit with the message um, basic style or er, no added bootstrap and styled all right next thing we want to do is add reviews for each movie so to do that, I'm going to generate another scaffold um, by running Rails generate scaffold review. And then each review is gonna have a rating, which is gonna be an integer, and a comment, which is gonna be text. All right, so as you can see, this creates a bunch of files for us. Um, all the controllers, the views, the model, so next let's run rake db colon migrate. And 
let's confirm this worked by going to slash reviews. Runtime error in reviews controller. Let's uh, open up the reviews controller and see what's going on with that. Controller, reviews controller. Um, I'm not really sure what this responds with review or at review does, so I'm just going to remove that. It was uh, generated by the scaffold. There we go. So now it's listing reviews, um, and we have the ability to create a new review. So let's, uh, let's just create a dummy review. Let's say a five-star review. This movie was uh, freaking awesome. Great review. Hmm, that's strange. We're getting a template is missing. Wonder if it's a server issue. Let's restart that. So you can see under the def create, it, um, it creates a new review for us. But as you can see in the movies, um, we do if movie.save and then we redirect to the movie. So I'm just going to copy that. Oops. And I'm going to do if at review.save redirect to at review else render new end. This movie was freaking awesome. Great review. All right, so I'm not sure why the scaffold generator did that. Um, this is probably one of the reasons why you don't want to use the scaffold, but I was just trying to quickly uh, create all the files we need. Um, but I know uh, if you ask any serious Rails developer, they will say, uh, hell no, they do not use uh, scaffolds. Um, all right, so next we want to make sure that a, um, a review belongs to a user. So to do that, let's uh, generate a migration by doing Rails G migration. And we're going to do we're going to add a user ID column to the review. So we're going to do add underscore user ID to reviews. Add the user ID. User ID is going to be an integer. All right, so Rails generate migration, add user ID to reviews, user ID is integer. All right, so next let's run, um, actually let's take a look at it real quick. Under DB migrate, very bottom. So we're adding column to the reviews table, which is a user ID and it's an integer. Awesome, rake DB migrate. All right, so now let's pop into our console confirm that worked. Um, I will do uh, at review equals review dot first. All right, cool. So you can see at the very end, the user ID column is nil. All right, next we need to add an association between the uh, review and the user model. So let's open up our models and uh, user model and review model. So a review is going to belong, or a review belongs underscore to a user. And then a user, in addition to having many movies, a user has many reviews. Um, one note on this is we want to um, add a line that says dependent uh, destroy because we don't, if someone deletes their um, account, so if a user gets deleted, we also want all the reviews associated with that user to be deleted as well, or else you could run into errors um, because you may find that uh, no user is associated with certain review, and that could uh, cause problems down the road. Adding dependent destroy will uh, destroy any uh, reviews that 
is associated with that user in case that user gets destroyed. All right, and then also, so now that the association is added, let's open up the reviews controller. And under def create, we're going to add another line, which is at review dot user underscore ID equals current user dot ID. So that way, when a uh, user writes a new review, they will get um, their user ID will get assigned to them. And then one more thing, we want to add a before action to authenticate underscore user exclamation to make sure only a signed in user is able to write a review. So let's, uh, let's test this out. Let's go back, uh, new review. Let's give it a three star review. This movie sucked. Great review. All right, now let's uh, pop into our Rails console. Well, we're already there. So let's do at movie equals movie.last to grab the movie we just created. And then let's see, at movie, you can see right here the user ID is one. I'm gonna quickly try something. I'm gonna go to the show. So under views, reviews, uh, show.html.erb. I'm just gonna add another one real quick. I want to do a strong, let's say user, and then we're gonna do at review.user.email. See if that works. No, oh, there we go. So it's showing the, there we go. So the last one has a user ID of one, which is my user, but the first one does not. So we can fix this by simply, oops, let's just uh, destroy. Hmm. So the destroy reviews controller. Is that a redirect to? Let's just do root path for now. There we go. So slash reviews. Let's destroy this again. Okay, so it's working now. So let's create a new review. Let's say uh, one star. This was awful. Great review. All right, so this is working, but we don't want to have a separate page for the reviews. Uh, we also don't want to have the slash reviews uh, to list out all the reviews. We only want to show the reviews on the movie page. So to do that, we need to link the reviews to the movies, uh, add an association between them, and then we'll also go through and remove the routes and the uh, controller actions for the index and the show because we only want to have the ability to edit and destroy, or create, edit, and destroy a review. All right, so let's get started by, well, we can first delete the index.html.erb file for the reviews. Uh, let's do the uh, .json builder file as well. And then we will delete the uh, show pages as well. All right, so let's go ahead. Oops, let's get out of here. Get S. All right, we're gonna do get add dot. Um, yeah, we'll just do a quick commit. Get commit sham uh, review scaffold. All right, now let's uh, add a migration to add the movie ID 
to the reviews. So what we want to do is Rails generate migration, add movie ID to reviews. And movie ID is going to be an integer. All right, so let's run rake db colon migrate. All right, and let's uh, pop into our Rails console and let's grab the at review equals review dot last. All right, and you can see we have the user ID, which is one, and the movie ID, which is nil. So that was added, the movie ID column was added to the reviews table for us. All right, next, let's uh, pop out of the console, go in, and let's add an association between the review and the movie. So a movie has underscore many reviews, and a review also belongs to a movie. All right, so one thing we need to do next is our form instead of building from at review, we're gonna want to do a square bracket at movie comma at review and then close square bracket. Um, and this is because we are gonna do a nested route um, for this form. So let's take care of that right now. So let's go to routes file. So uh, first off, we don't need all of the reviews. We only want uh, we want the reviews except for the show and the index. All right, and then next, let's uh, copy this and, all right, so under resources movies, we're going to do do, and then below that, <clears throat> we're going to paste in the reviews and then end. Let's uh, give some spacing to these. So what this is doing is it's creating a nested resource for reviews. So I can show you real quickly. Let's undo what we just did. So let's go and hit rake routes. All right, and you can see reviews um, is under slash reviews, slash review, slash new, slash review, slash ID, etc. But if we um, add it as a sub resource. Let's uh, do rake routes again. And you can see that reviews is now nested under uh, the movies. So it goes slash movies, and then it finds the movie ID, and then it finds goes slash review, and then it finds the review ID. So a few things we need to do for this is open up our controller, our reviews controller. So let's go to controllers, reviews controller. And just as we are finding the review, we need to add another one, def set movie. And this is gonna be at movie equals movie.find with params of the movie ID and then end. And then under the create method, we're gonna add another line, which we're gonna add at review dot movie underscore ID equals at movie ID, or dot ID, I'm sorry. All right, and then up here, we want to do another before action. Before action set underscore movie. All right, and since we don't actually have an index or a show, let's just uh, let's remove those as well. Save that, and let's try to create a new movie to confirm this worked. So we're not going or a new review. So we're not gonna be able to go to just slash reviews anymore, or uh, reviews slash new. Uh, what we need to do now is go to um, slash movie slash two, which finds the, the movie, and then reviews slash new. Undefined method. Oh, whoops, I misspelled that. Set movie. 
All right, now we're getting a undefined local variable reviews path for the form. So let's uh, let's take care of that real quick. Um, these, I'm just going to remove the paths for now. Save that, and then same thing for. All right, so now we have the ability to add a, um, a new review for this specific movie. All right, so let's uh, try adding a review. Five star, Captain America was a super cool movie. Great review. So we're getting another uh, issue. So uh, this is inside of our controller. So let's go to the reviews controller. If review.save redirect to at review. So we don't want to redirect to at review. We want to redirect to the movie. And since we're setting the movie, um, we should be able to use this. Refresh. There we go. So now we get redirected back to the movie. That all works. Perfect. So let's confirm that in our console, Rails C, let's uh, find the movie at movie equals movie.find. And I believe it was two. Yeah, movie slash two. No, that wasn't the correct movie. Was it? Oh, yes. All right, so let's grab the review now. At review equals review.last. All right, and you can see the movie ID was set to two, which links up with the ID of uh, the, well, it's Maze Runner, but the Captain America movie. Awesome, so everything is working correctly. Let's get out of the console by doing command or control D and uh, command K to clear it. All right, so next let's uh, fix those links. So first I want to add a link to write a new review. So inside of, let's uh, close out of these, inside of movies show.html.erb. Let's see, I'm just gonna add it in a below the table and we're gonna do link to link underscore to write a review. And then this is going to go to, let's uh, check our routes, rake routes. So to do a new movie, uh, review slash new, we want to do new movie uh, review path. So we'll do new underscore movie underscore review underscore oops, path. And then we also want to grab the movie. So we're going to do at movie. All right, let's go back and refresh, write a review, click that. All right, so now we go to slash movie slash two, review slash new. Awesome. But if we click back, that doesn't do anything. So let's uh, take care of that now. Under uh, reviews slash edit, or review slash new, what we want to do, um, let's replace this with uh, movie underscore path at movie, which will take us back to the movie. Now refresh that, go back. All right, so that works. Write a review. And then the edit, now the edit, let's do the same. I'm just going to remove the show altogether and then click to back. It's going to go to movie path at movie. All right, so next thing we need to do is list out all the movies on the show page. So to do that, let's go back to slash movies slash show dot HTML. And within the panel and within the row, but not within the column. So three divs up, one, two, three. Let's add another column of MD. Let's do MD7, 
and then another column MD offset of one. And then within that, let's have the title be an H1. And I'm just going to say class of review underscore title. And then we're going to do at movie dot title. And then let's also add the description up here as well. So we're going to do P and then at movie dot description. All right, next, let's loop through all the reviews. So we want to do a conditional statement if the reviews, if there are no reviews, so if at reviews dot blank, we want to add a H3 and say uh, no reviews just yet. Would you like to add the first? And then uh, we're going to link to link, whoops, link to, man, if I could type today. Uh, we're going to write review. And then that is going to go to new movie review path with app movie. And then it's going to have the class of BTN, BTN slash danger. All right, then else we're going to loop through all the moot reviews. So at review dot each do, or I'm sorry, at reviews dot each do review. And then we're going to put each one in a dot reviews div. Then we'll put, let's say P and we'll put the rating review dot rating. And then another one review dot comment. And then let's close this out and and then we also need another end. Save that, go back. I believe we're going to get an error, but let's refresh. Write review. Let's say five star review. This movie is awesome. Hmm. So I believe we need to next add the reviews to the uh, movies controller. So let's do at reviews equals review dot where the movie ID is movie dot ID. Then we're going to order um, create that descending. All right, so let's refresh that. Hmm. So it doesn't appear to be, something must be up with my conditional. Okay, that was it. So I used at reviews in the show page, so I needed to define at reviews in the controller. So now that we have the different reviews, it, they are all listing out. And then for a movie with no reviews, they get no reviews just yet. Would you like to write one? And one thing I'm noticing is the scaffold.css was cr created again when we made the review scaffold. So uh, delete that, refresh. All right, there we go. That looks better. All right, so the next thing we need to do is add a, or convert the ratings to stars. So instead of just saying five, um, I guess I gave it a five star for all of this, each review. Um, so to do that, we are going to use the rady.js. So if you search rady.js, 
believe it is this one. Yeah. Okay, here it is. So what this makes it, or what this does is you can see as you um, hover over, it will select which star rating you want. So let's uh, download the Rady file, and then we need to put that in our um, slash JavaScripts uh, file or folder. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so I added the jQuery.Rady.js file inside my JavaScript directory. Then I also added the star half, star off, star on PNGs um, to my slash app slash assets slash images folder. So next we need to uh, do a few things. So the way this works is we add a div with the um, data score. Um, and then that will dynamically say what or how many stars we have. So let's go to our show.html.erb. And for each review, instead of the review.rating, instead of the review.rating, we want to add. Um, a div, div with the class of star dash rating, and a data score of the review dot rating, and then close out the div. Then we need to add a script file, and we'll just add it below all of this text, and then. What this is doing is it's uh, calling the dot rady uh, jQuery file on the dot star dash rating uh, div, which is defined here. And then the path is the path to the images. So we're going sus assets. And then we only want this to be read only. Um, and then the score is how it's defining, or um, the score function is uh, returning the data score of the rating review dot rating. So if we save that, go back to our movies, refresh. There we go. Let's uh, try to add a new movie. Let's say uh, two star. Um, didn't care for this movie. Create review. All right. So everything's working. That's awesome. So next instead of having our users manually type in <clears throat> on a one to five their score we want them to be able to just um, select the amount of stars they want so to do that let's go to our review slash form and we're going to replace this with a div an id id of star dash rating Close div, and then below here, we need to add another script file. So this is grabbing the star rating div, um, adding the path, and then the score name is allowing us to take what's in this div and save it as the review rating. So let's uh, refresh, test it out. Awesome. And if you notice between um, this script file and here, this has read only because on the reviews, we don't want to be able to change another person's review. But when we write a new review, obviously you want to be able to select it. So let's do four star. Thought this movie was pretty cool. Great. Awesome. So it's saving for us. Um, one last thing I want to do is I want to add a average review for this movie based on all the reviews. So to do that, let's uh, 
go into our controller. Let's go into the movies controller. And under the show, let's add um, if at review dot blank um, at average review equals zero. Else average review equals at reviews dot average with the rating and then round to the second decimal point end. So we have to have this in a conditional if statement. Otherwise, um, if the review is blank, then it would throw up an error uh, because there's nothing to round. So if it's blank, we set it to zero. All right, so let's refresh that. So next we want to show it under the uh, picture. So let's go to our show and Let's add another table row. Actually, no, instead of adding it to the table, we'll add it above the table below the image. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the star rating class with the data score of average rating. And then here we're putting in, um, in an M tag, which is italic. We are printing out the reviews.length for the amount of reviews. So let's save that, go back, refresh. So it's showing up, but it's not showing our average reviews. Hmm. So let's go back to Sublime and back to the movies controller. If at review, oh, 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 okay. So I believe it's because this should be average review. There we go. Okay, so I uh, copy and pasted the wrong thing. So this should be data score of average review. So now it's getting the average score based on five reviews. So if I add a, another one, say one, this movie sucked, great review. Out of six reviews, you can see that dropped the average. Let's do another one. I wonder how many it would take to, there we go. Now it's an average of three stars out of eight reviews. Cool. So the reviews is working pretty good. And obviously if no reviews are there, we have the option to write a review. Let's do five stars, this movie was great. Cool. So let's uh, go and do git status. Um, we'll do a git add dot git commit with the message convert um, ratings or review ratings to stars. All right. So the last and final thing we want to do for this application, um, I could spend some time cleaning up all of this, but uh, I don't think I'm going to for this uh, tutorial. If you go through some of my previous tutorials on where I build a Pinterest application or a blog or a, a Reddit clone, I uh, style all the forms. but. Um, just for the sake of time and to try to keep this shorter, I'm going to focus on the search form now. So get status, we're on a clean directory. So to install or to uh, add the ability to search, we're gonna use a gem called uh, search kick. So if you go to Ruby gems and search for search kick, uh, you'll see uh, intelligent search made easy. Let's uh, copy that to our clipboard, uh, close out of all these, go into the gem file, and at the bottom, we'll add gem search kick, and then we'll run uh, bundle install. Then if we go to the 
documentation. There's a, a few things we need to do. Um, first, you have to install Elasticsearch. Um, and to do that, you're going to need Java. So just Google, um, let's see, install Java and uh, grab or download Java and grab the, uh, the latest and install that. Then run a brew install Elasticsearch. So if we do brew install Elasticsearch, you can see I already have it installed. But if you do uh, brew info Elasticsearch, it will give you some info and uh, confirm that it was uh, installed correctly. Next, you'll want to um, run this uh, command it gives you right here, launch CTL load. So let's copy that and paste that. Let's see, copy and paste. Hmm. Well, let me paste for some reason. I'll just type it out, launch CTL load tilde slash library launch agents homebrew there we go and then you can see mine is already loaded and if you go to localhost port uh, 9200 it should print out um, some code like this um, and that will confirm that it's installed correctly so the next step if you look at the documentation um, after you install Elasticsearch, you want to um, add the search kick gem, which we've already done. Then we need to add the line search kick to our movies model. So let's close out of that. Let's go to our models and movie.rb. And then up top, we'll just add search kick. All right, next we need to load. Um, or re-index all of the movies from our database. So to do that, um, it says product.reindex, but we're going to do it from the command line and do rake uh, search kick colon re-index with the class all uppercase equals movie. And you should only need to do that once. So next we need to add a route for our uh, search. So let's go to the routes under config, routes.rb. Then under our resources movies, we need to add a uh, collection, do, get, and then we're going to do search, end, and save that. All right, the next thing we need to do is add or convert our static search form to um, embedded Ruby. So let's go to slash views. Let's close out of these. Slash views slash layouts. Application.html.erb. Actually, the header file. So we're going to replace the um, form. So what we're going to do is a uh, form tag and we're going to do search uh, movies path. And then we're going to do method get with the class of navbar form, navbar write, and then role of search. And do. Inside here, it's got a p tag, and then we'll add some embedded Ruby, a text field tag, a search with the params of search, get, whoops, not get, I'm sorry, with the class of form dash control and then another one we're going to do a submit tag 
word search. Name is going to be nil. Class is going to be btn and btn default. And then we will end this. Right, and let's remove the old form. Go back and refresh. Undefined local variable method search kick. Um, let's try restarting our server. There we go. All right, and now we need to create a search method within our controller. So in our movies controller, I'm just gonna add it up top. I'm gonna do def search end, and then inside of it, I'm gonna do if params uh, search dot present. I'm gonna do at, at movie dot present. We're gonna do at movie movies equals movie dot search with the params of search else we're going to do at movies equals movie dot all end all right so if the search form was left blank the app would just display all of the movies in our database so save this and we'll move on to the next and final step, which is creating a view for our search form. So under, let's see, app views movies, let's create a new file uh, and save this as search.html.erb. And then this is gonna be very similar to the, um, the index. So I'm gonna copy the this section and paste it in for the search. So let's go back and see if this works. We'll refresh. <clears throat> let's search for um, Iron Man. Awesome. Now maybe Maze Runner. Very cool. Our search functionality is working. Captain America. Sweet. Now, obviously, if we had more movies, uh, more would more results would show up in the search. But since we only have four, um, obviously, get what you search for. <laughs> All right. So from here, let's um, go back to our con our terminal. Let's do git s git add dot git commit with the message add search kick gem and functionality and implement search functionality awesome guys we're all finished building our movie rating and review application um, as always if you have any questions or comments just find me on twitter it's at mckinsey child and if you want to follow along for more find my blog or sign up for my newsletter on my website it's mckinseychild.me all right, see you guys next week.